Examples and interpretation of RAS meteograms. Session elements. We will cover what a meteogram is and any prerequisites. Elements that make up a meteogram. Look at some examples and a short summary. To get the best from a RAS meteogram, it is helpful to have some understanding and knowledge to interpret what you are seeing. Keep in mind the following concepts and terms. Wind. Recognise the feathers for wind speed and direction at a point in the atmosphere. Boundary layer. The lowest atmospheric section of interest. Thermal updraft. What keeps gliders aloft. Cape. An indicator of possible thunder or lightning. Icing level. Where the air reaches 0 degrees C. Maximum thermal height. The maximum height we can gain in the boundary layer. Top cover. Clouds above the boundary layer. Rasp Meteogram Overview. The following make up the basic outline of the plot. Header. Height scale in feet. Pressure scale in millibars. Time scale. Wind speed and direction at height. Sunrise, sunset. Boundary layer top is the blue dashed line. Mid and upper cloud. Icing level, shown as a snowflake. Approximate maximal thermal height. Looks a bit like a little bird indicator. The key for the plot. The colour for air instability or stability. The gross thermal strength in feet per minute. Let's take an example and here we have Caudreau's. Reading a plot is achieved by doing the following. Looking at how the forecasted parameters change hour by hour from left to right. This plot shows top cloud in the morning then giving way to boundary layer cloud from midday. The icing level, zero degrees in the atmosphere, is consistent all day around 13,000 feet. The blue area indicates there is a strong, but weakening, inversion above the boundary layer. The wind direction changes from 289 degrees around to 20 degrees as the day progresses, increasing in strength. During the afternoon, mid-layer overdevelopment takes place above the boundary layer cloud that has developed. And also Cape has slightly increased and shown slightly in the morning. Looking at a Boyne, this is a particularly uh, negative day on the basis of some rain and some other bits and pieces. Both top cover and boundary layer cloud are at the start of the day. It has been damp for most of the day, but later on we have rain indicated, which is shown as millimetres per half hour in the white boxes. Let's have a look at Burn. Here we have a reasonably good day. Nearly blue conditions for the morning with a mid, little mid and upper layer cloud. The boundary layer top cloud develops from mid-afternoon, and some top cover or overdevelopment also appears, shown as the grey clouds. Let's have a look at Husband Bosworth, and this example is a good day with positive soaring conditions. Light winds from the northwest, 7,000 foot cloud base later, thermaling height of at least 5,000 feet. There is an indication it will be cold at height as the freezing level is close to the cloud base later in the day for pilots to make it to that height. Have a look at Chalak. In this case we have a positive day with an inversion. Morning and into the early afternoon we have developing top cover, that's the overdevelopment indicated by the great clouds. Note the declining sun percentage. An inversion develops at around 6,000 feet just above the boundary layer. The mid-afternoon reduction of sun slightly chokes thermal strengths from 500 to 300 feet per minute gross before increasing again from around about 2.30. Summary. Hopefully this short overview is giving you a feel for RASP meteograms and how to interpret them. And lastly, a big thank you to the RASP development community for releasing the plot application for wider use. For more details, see the URL. Thank you for watching. Follow the RASP Weather on YouTube channel or on RASP Weather on Twitter.